Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the final part of the bear cooking day number one. We're going to do a bear beer review today. Um, this is the beer I've been cooking with for most of the day. It is the Monty Python's Holy Grail by the Black Sheep Brewery. If you don't know much about Black Sheep, uh, they've got a fantastic little place out in Massam uh, in North Yorkshire. It's uh, only been, they've only been around for about 20 years and their, their story is really quite interesting. All about the kind of family rivalry inside the Thiegston family. So, you know, go go check them out. They're really interesting, and fortunately for us, for us beer lovers, um, they're doing really well. And um, I believe Theakston's is now 70% owned back by the actual Theakston family. So, um, hopefully, we'll see some of their influence from the Black Sheep guys spreading back into Theakston's again. Um, the Monty Python Holy Grail was conceived about 15 years ago, I believe. I might say on the side, uh, it doesn't, but about 15 years ago, it's a uh, collaborative beer, obviously, with the Monty Python fellas. Um, it says tempered by burning witches, which I can assure you is not right. And uh, it's kind of claims to fame this beer is that the popes drank it because it was sent by uh, the Archbishop of York uh, to the form now former pope uh, as a gift. So you get you think you've received a case or twelve bottles of it, and who knows if he likes it or not. Um, he must have a bit of a sense of humour if he doesn't mind being saying uh, tempered over burning witches. Anyway, that's it enough. Let's get it on open. It's four point seven percent. And I'm not entirely sure what the style is going to be actually, I must say. Uh, ale of sorts, I guess. And I'm going to be using the good old black sheep glass, because better do for drinking black sheep, eh? And there we are. Lovely golden coloured. Um, slightly darker than gold, actually. It's more of an amber colour now it's now it's come through. Um, lovely and clear. And this nice amount of carbonation going through. Now, black sheep use uh, wheat in their beer. A small partition of wheat so that it laces and so that it gets a nice head on it as well. Um, if you didn't know, that's that's what wheat sometimes does. Apart from making it sometimes too spicy and uh, a little bit banana as with like Hefeweizen beers, uh, it can also help with head retention on a beer, which is where you capture aroma. And us northerners like our aroma. So, I should be knowing then. Oh, it's quite yeasty actually. It smells quite bready, really. I should be nosing it again. It's quite bready. On, on, on the smell, um, that kind of yeasty, bready smell. A lovely bit of malt in the back as well. Nice sweet malt and... Uh, there must be, there's a little bit of fruitiness at the back but it's quite masked quite well. It definitely feels like it's very malt present and forward beer and also with quite um, a large amount of yeast in it as well I would suggest. So, interesting, interesting. And without further ado, cheers guys. Very crisp, very light, very refreshing. Very easy going and smooth on the palate. Lovely bit of carbonation going across the tongue. And nice. Not too sweet malt. So it probably goes quite well with the with the smell. It's not biscuity, it's not too caramelly. I'd consider it quite a bready flavoured malt. Yeah. Bready. Now, now, now the aftertaste is coming through. It's definitely a bready flavour that kind of comes in, and it stays for quite a while actually. It's a good second, it kind of stays in your mouth and all the coolness and carbonation and then ease into a very nice bitter flavour at the end. If I had to make a suggestion, I would, I would assume that this is a bitter of sorts. It doesn't actually say on the bottle what, what style it's meant to be in, I guess. Um, it's a very pleasant, easy drinking beer, this one. Mm. In fact, it is. It's very smooth, very lovely and smooth. That carbonation really helps it. it, gives it like a nice refreshing kick at the end. And I can definitely see sessioning this. It's, it's uh, yeah, it's very pleasant. I don't think there's a huge amount more to say about it in, in a strange sense because um, it's certainly not going out to try and push over any boundaries. That's that's for sure. But it does what it does very well. It's it's clearly a very high quality beer. It's got such a clean and consistent flavour throughout it. Very well balanced, it's got a nice malt at the start, it's got a nice bitter flavour at the end. I'm not getting much in, in terms of hop flavouring actually. Mm. If anything it's a tiny bit piney at the end, that bitterness is, is a kind of piney bitterness. 
flavour of pine and bitterness, I should say. Um, and I guess that's where the hot flavouring is coming through. But it's nice and malty up front, nice and bitter at the end, and overall very clean and refreshing. It's not revolving the wheel, but it's very enjoyable as well. Bear beer rating. Ooh, let's give it. Let's give it a good seven. Let's give it a seven because it's very consistent. I could definitely sit and drink a good couple of these, and that's a very good sign of, of a nice beer. It's not making me go, "Wow, wow, this is absolutely fantastic and amazing," but it's certainly a nice beer. And uh, as as I hope to prove my food when my darling mother returns for some dinner, um, hopefully it's as a good uh, as a good cooking ingredient as well. So thank you very much for joining me for the three parter. The uh, two recipes we did this morning, the uh, beer bread and also the beer nuts and also for the review of the beer we were using, the Monty Python's Holy Grail by Black Sheep. Thank you ever so much, like, favourite and subscribe, all of the above, keep watching, there's going to be more cooking with bear for sure because it was really enjoyable to do that today and I, I love cooking as well. There's going to be tons of new content, I still haven't finished the big 12 box, the box of 12 bottles that I've got and did the unboxing video for but I've already received about another three parcels as well because I went a bit nuts after payday. So stick around and I'll see you all later.